Good morning, grade one students. How are you all doing today? How are you all feeling? Feeling good? Yes. Tummies are full. No sleepy and all that. Yes. You had a good night's sleep. Yes. That's great. You all should be fresh, energetic early in the morning for your classes and for to learn something new. Right? Okay. So which day is today? Today is the third day of which week and week is 14. Today is the third day of your 14th week, right? And this is your literacy class. And here I am, Miss Shaista, taking your literacy class, right? So ready for the class? Good. Now can you tell me that I'm going to show you something and you are going to tell me what these things are, okay? What am I holding in my hand? What are these? These are markers. And how many markers are there? One, two, three, four, five, and six. They are six markers, right? How many? Six markers, right? Now, how many markers are there? Only one. So, what are we going to say? It's a marker but here we will say markers there's a difference between marker and markers now say it was marker marker you can say one marker and six markers Right? Okay. Now, in this same way, what is this in my hand? It's a crayon. One crayon, right? And now, how many crayons are there? One, two, three, four crayons, right? First, there was only one crayon, but later on, there were four crayons. So, what I'm going to write down? One crayon. And four crayons. So what have I added here? One was what? One was single. It was singular. But more than one is plural. Here, to make it more than one, I had added S in both these words. In markers and in crayons, I have added S to make it plural. So this is what we are going to learn today. We are going to learn singular and plural. That is more than one. Actually, more than one is plural, right? Now, what is this in my hand? It's an eye, right? Do you all have one eye? No, you all have two eyes. But this is only one eye, correct? And what is this? It's a nose, nosey, nosey. Do you have two noses? No, you only have one nose. Correct. So that is also singular. Okay, what is this? It's a tongue, right? So how many tongues do you have? Only one tongue. So actually what were they? All these three are your... What are these? These are your body parts. Your tongue is also your body part. Your nose is also body part. And eye is also your body part. But how many eyes you have? You have two eyes. Now, can you all remember this character? Yes, it's a red riding hood character, right? It's a girl. Now, how many eyes she has? Two eyes. You can say these are two eyes and how many nose only one nose and one tongue one mouth but how many hands two hands right and how many feet two feet and how many legs two legs two ears but how many head this thing only one head right so this means that 
this was all about the more than one and why i have shown you the pictures of your body parts because remember the topic what we are doing it is about growing up how you grow your body parts also keep growing they also keep changing sometimes right you first you will have small hands then you will have big hands gradually it's going to increase right you gradually your hands are going to become bigger and bigger so this is why i want i want i showed you the different body parts and this is what is our topic for today that is more than one now let's watch a video now again it's our edwell video do watch it later on as well okay children one two and three there you go singular and plural what is singular and what is plural let's find out one egg it's a single egg it's a singular singular basket full of eggs one two three four five six eggs it's a plural a bunny single bunny is a singular it's a single bunny oh two bunnies three bunnies three bunnies make it a plural so anything which is more than one is a plural and one is singular okay there you go understood one is single that is singular but more than one is plural okay now let's watch another presentation this by this also it is going to be more clear to you that what are singular and what are plural can you all see okay now this is a what can you see here this is a single tree only one tree but this picture shows how many trees one two three trees so this is plural right in the same way here there is one monkey that is singular monkey but there are five monkeys it means this is plural monkeys and remember we have added s over here now more than one what you add you add s over there and there is this is rule number 1 that you add s like cat plus s equals to cats right now these are different singular plural words where we have just added s like birds rooms folks games lambs nests dolls eggs here all we have added only s now what you are going to learn we are going to learn to make plurals by adding es what we are going to add e s and when are we going to add es now that was rule 1 that you add s to make it a plural now there is another rule that is rule number 2 and what is that rule is you have to now if a naming word ends with ch sh and s or x we add es if a naming word now what are naming words naming words are name of animal place person things right so if a naming word ends with ch sh x or s then we are going to add es like which word in box box ends with x so we are going to add box six in the same way fox fox six 
Now, brush. How are we going to write down brush? Brushes. You now see it ends with S and H. So we are going to write brushes. Yes, got it? In the same way, class, classes. Now, nose, noses. Do you understand? It is like that that you add. Just remember that those verbs which ends with ch, sh, s, uh, x, then you will add es. Not only s, but you will add es. Now, open your book page number 64, Nelson English. Here you can see that uh, over here, it they explains about more than one. We add S to lots of naming words when we mean more than one, like eye, eyes, hand, hands. But if a naming word ends in ch, ch, s, or x, then we add es. Some people keep their books in boxes, like boxes is a, uh, it ends with x, so that is why we have written es right remember one is singular and more than one is a plural word now what you are going to do class you are going to do exercise number a which is on page number 65 you just have to add s and es remembering the both the rules that i have explained so you just have to write this down so i'm going to give you eight minutes for this task your time starts now all right, time is up. Okay, let's check it out what you have done. The first word is nose. So what you have written? Nose, what you have added? Only S, it becomes noses. Second, shoulder, only S, shoulders. Box, here, yeah, it ends with a X. So what you have to write down? ES, very good, foxes. Watch, it ends with CX. So what you have to written? You have to write watches, W A T. C H E S. Leg, legs. Class, classes. Correct. Ears, ear, ears. Brush, like I have told you, brushes. Elbow, elbows. Bus, again it ends with a S. So what you have? Yes, correct. Buses. So that means, class, that today's uh, more than one is clear. You are going to remember both the rules, rule 1 and rule 2. Rule 1 is you add S to the naming words and rule 2 is the words that ends with S, E, S, sorry, Ch, Sh, X and S, you add E, S. Do remember this, okay? And do remember to do your work, your homework that I'll be posting on portal, okay? And keep watching Edgeworld videos, okay? Alright class, okay bye bye, see you in your science lesson.